Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. really interesting challenge today, very tricky challenge, everyone make this mistake and I wanted to record this video. So 6 minus 6 times 6 minus 6, very easy, maybe the easiest challenge you've ever seen, nothing hard, no squares, cubes, sine, cosine right here, all the time we have subtraction, we have multiplication right here, so nothing hard on the first side, yeah? And I don't want you to use your calculator right here, because let's use our super brain in our head and let's solve this question together, but before solving this, you can easily pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, let's check our answers in one or two minutes, it will be really interesting to check our answers, here is our question, here is our option, raise your suggestion down into the comment section and let's try to solve this. I hope you will solve this correctly, I really hope about it. So here is our question, so we have 6 minus 6 times 6 minus 6. So here is our question, and one part of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, 6 minus 6, they know about it, equal to 0 from left to right, and right here we have the same expression, 6 minus 6 equal to 0 as well, and with this multiplication, 0 times 0 equal to 0, and we have this option, this is option A. So one part of students solve this question like that. And I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I want you to understand one really important moment. So in math, we can't solve this question chaotically, we can't jump from left to right, it is very big and huge mistake. And obviously, whatever order of operation we select right here, we will have like a different answer. So we should understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, so let's check this question with this PMDMC. And then we will have like, we will say, okay, this is 100% correct answer. Because right here, this is like a chaotic method. We solve this question wherever we want, we want to subtract with all this, and we, this is really bad in math. And right now, let's solve this question according to a correct order of operation. So here's our question, so 6 minus 6 times 6 minus 6. Okay, here's our question. And let's solve this according to PMDMC. From the top to the bottom, the first step is parentheses, let's look at it, as I told before, we don't have any parentheses and it's brilliant, we just skip this part, we don't have any parentheses. Exponents, what about exponents right here, let's look at it, no, I don't see any of like squares, cubes right here, so we can easily go to the next step, go ahead to the next step right here. So without parentheses and exponent, this is very brilliant, because for example, imagine you have parentheses, then you have for example raising to the power 3, you should raise it, and it's a long, it, it takes a lot of time, so right here we don't have parentheses and exponent and it's really great. Multiplication division group, okay, let's look at it, because according to PMDMC this is like one common group, multiplication and division, and now we need to scan where do we have this multiplication and division signs. Let's look at it, multiplication sign, division sign, yeah, we have it right here, multiplication sign, and as you can see right now, we can easily see this difference between this approach and this approach, between this chaotic approach, this approach where, where, where we solve this wherever we want right here, and this is according to PMDMC, as you can see, we start from multiplication. This is like the main difference right here according to PMDMC. So we have multiplication part right here, yeah? We can easily complete it right now and we don't have division part. Okay, let's look at it and let's start with this. Let's start with this uh, multiplication. We have it. Uh, this is our first step and moreover, addition and subtraction is after multiplication. So we need to do all the thing. You should do all the thing with multiplication and division part and then you should go, back, go, go uh, to addition and subtraction. Okay, so 6 minus 6 times 6 equal to 36, and minus 6, as you can see right now, uh, last step, addition and subtraction, yeah, we have subtraction part, yeah, we have it, and we don't have addition part, so we have only two steps, first step, multiplication, second step, subtraction, and the order is the next, the next one, multiplication is before subtraction, here is maybe the main rule, the main rule I want you to understand from this video, and the main lesson I hope you learn from this video, so 6 minus 6 uh, minus 36, and this is equal to minus 36. We have this option, this is option, option C. And uh, let's look at, okay, minus 36 right here, 0 right here. But, but we we thought that 0 is a correct answer, 0 was a correct answer, okay? But if you look closely, this is absolutely wrong solution. So in math, you couldn't uh, like jump from left to right. You just do right here wherever you want, you want to subtract, you want to subtract right here, you jump, this is like a chaotic method. But with parentheses, if you, if you want to get this correct, you need to put, you should put parentheses right here, right here, and then like 6 minus 6, first step 0, second step 0, and 0 is a correct answer. But in our case, a is not a correct answer, 0 is a correct answer when you have parentheses. Without parentheses, a correct answer is minus 36. I feel like a lot of students solve this question like, like that, like 0, but it happens, you should learn something new right here, so let's write our answer. Let's write our answer. 
A correct answer is option, option C is a correct answer. So I hope you understand my explanation, I hope you understand my thought about it, and I wish all the best in your mathematic adventure, don't feel bad if you got this wrong. You can easily support my videos, I really appreciate it, I try to make every video every day, and I really appreciate and really, really thankful for your, for your support. See you in the next videos, take care and have a great day.